Hello everybody, welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we're taking a look at anti-air defences because, well you know how it is, you've got a lovely little airfield, it's all pristine, so the last thing you want to have, as in the case here, is to have one of my newly tweaked and rebalanced vampires running about the place, blowing stuff up completely unopposed. But what do you choose to stop it? Well, never fear, today I am here to answer that question. Today we are going to take four types of anti-aircraft defence and test each one of them in a comparison. So, uh, let's get started. So we start with a test I like to call the gauntlet. I'm going to take one of my vampires, take it off, and try and fly over the line of anti-aircraft defences as fast as I can at about a thousand metres and see if I make it through. First up to be tested is the 50 caliber turret. Now I've strapped two of these to the top of one of my, my basic armoured vehicle hulls and I have four of these in a line so um, yeah let's see how I get on. Okay here we go then, I've been accelerating from about 10 kilometers away, let's see what happens here. Oh, we have some fire. A little bit of damage. But it doesn't look like those 50 cal turrets were quick enough off the mark, so we are through successfully. Let's move on to our next test subject. So, one down, and I'm not really surprised to be honest. As I've mentioned before, the 50 cal turret has been heavily nerfed over the years, but... Uh, I think this next test might be a little bit of a sterner one. We have four of these goalkeeper turrets, and uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. Let's let's see how it goes. Here we go then, travelling at well over the speed of sound, and oh my god, they've started already. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, oh no. Try and keep it together. I'm losing missiles. I've just about got control of the craft. Okay, I think I think I passed into their blind spot. This is this is probably going to get bad again. Are they going to turn around and get guns onto me? No. It looks like I have successfully passed through once again, although this time not quite as not quite as damage free I think it was mainly just weapons oh no here it comes again no I think we're alright I think it's mainly just weapons they shot I can't see anything major missing so yes another successful test let's move on to something a little bit different so that's two gauntlets successfully run but um you know, shooting at aircraft with guns, that's kind of old hat by now. What we really want is missiles, and to that end, I have four of the surface-to-air missile units armed with AMRAMs. Yeah, this one, um, this one should be interesting. Yeah, one of the major differences here is that these guys have a, a weapon range of about five kilometers, so any second now, it's going to get very interesting. I have, I am going to allow myself the use of countermeasures, and it looks like, are they going to get their asses in gear? There we go. I'm just going to fire off some countermeasures as I'm flying. Good stuff, good stuff. It's going to take me a little while to get out of range of these guys, so... Yeah, but yeah, first time seems to have gone well. I am climbing a bit. That's probably not a good thing in terms of the test. Here come some more missiles. Keep popping those countermeasures, keep popping that chaff. Okay. One down. And we're well out of range of the uh, the actual missile units themselves. Oh! Got scorched, but I think we're through okay. Yeah, no major damage, lost most of the weapons, but um, 
pretty much par for the course. So uh, let's go and run our fourth and final gauntlet. And so our last contender for today will be the Pack 3 Intercept Missile. I've got, uh, I think I've got how many, 16 each in these launchers, uh, four of those launchers. Now these don't actually have a radar on them, so I've linked them to these two little radar units behind them. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this one going. Here we go then. Now these, uh, those large missile launchers, they're very slow to turn. It's going to be interesting to see if any of them can actually acquire a decent knock on time. No movement so far. They are also a little slow to launch, but it's only going to take one. Are they actually doing anything? No, they're not doing anything. Yeah, I think I passed over them too quickly. Went into their blind stop bot. They weren't interested. I think as I pass over a bit further overhead, we should get to see a bit of action from them. Nope. You're just comfortable where you are. Oh, now they're starting to take notice. But I am well out of sight. Right, well, an anticlimactic end to this little test, so uh, let's see what we have next. Yeah, that really was disappointing. Uh, I did go back and check to see if there was something wrong with it. All the all the radar was linked up correctly. They just were not firing. I did actually try my hardest to get them to fire at this craft, but they just wouldn't. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe the crew popped out for lunch. I don't know, but... Um, we're moving on to our next test. For this one, I am actually going to go and try and fight the anti-aircraft defence in question. And I'm going to fight against the two anti-aircraft units, which I think worried me the most. That is the goalkeeper cannons and the AMRAMs. So we start with the goalkeeper cannons. I will get myself up into the air and I will see you again in a second. So we've got ourselves lined up, we've got our targeting ball locked on. I've lined up a Maverick for the uh, for our guests. I'm going to wait until the goalkeepers open fire on me before I open fire. Uh, where's the uh, radar warning receiver? So that should tell us the moment they open up on us. There we go, we've got something happening. There we go. Break hard, try and avoid those. Try and keep myself at a bit of a distance. What I might do is because they have got radar on them. Ooh, took a bit of a smattering. I'm going to turn around and fire off my harm missiles. If they will ever actually fire. There we go. One of them has been taken out. The rest of them seem to have lost interest in me. For the moment, oh, I'm assuming they must be distracted by the missiles. One of those harm missiles falls harmlessly to the ground, and now the guns start start again. Need to turn hard. Need to acquire a new target. Oh, and I oh, I'm getting too close. I'm getting far too close. I think that's probably that their gun's overheating. I'd do well to use this time to retreat a bit. There they go again, though. Try and come about, see if I can put missiles. He seems to be the only one firing. Have I destroyed the rest? Nope, I have not destroyed the rest. Now they're distracted by those uh, missiles. And I need to keep... Oh, lucky Sod managed to shoot one out of the air. I think I'm going to need to launch another one at him. And I'm getting too close again. Hopefully that missile will provide a distraction whilst I try and make good my escape. Oh, 
Oh, and that sounded promising. The whole screen likes yeah, it's very laggy with this amount of with this um this quantity of vehicles on the screen. Zoom back in, who's next? You matey boy, they don't seem to be that interested. Let's see if we can change that. Let's come around. Oh crap, here we go. Yeah, that other one doesn't seem to be doing anything, so I think just take this one out. There's a pause. And there's that one gone. Our final one. Yeah, we have taken them all out. Okay. Well, that was reasonably easy. I mean, I just had to keep a bit of distance. I stayed within range of them, though. And um, even that was trying to give them a bit of an opportunity, because... Uh, of course, you could just stay from about 10 kilometers back and lob missiles in, but... Uh... So yeah, pretty easy. Um, let's see how we fare against the missile units, though. Now on to our final test, and this is the one I'm really not looking forward to. We're going up against the AMRAM-equipped surface-to-air missile units. Oh god, here we go. Okay, once again, we are nearly within range. Once again, I've got the Mavericks lined up. Again, these are missile, these are radar equipped units, so we can also use the uh, the radar seeking missile, the Harm. Any second now, we should be seeing some trouble. Anybody? It's all eerily quiet here. There we go. Let's start launching a volley. And here comes our company. Switch to the harm missiles, see what they can do. One away. Did I launch both of them? I swear I only saw one. Looks like something's been hit. Massive amounts of lag. Yeah, and that's been sent to... Uh, to its grave. That harm missile falls short. Oh, but it does manage to catch one of the uh, missile units. We've got more incoming. Managed to avoid it with relative ease. Where are we? Let's see if we can acquire a new target. Again, lagging. My computer is not liking the part count. Line that up. Let's come round. Another couple of Mavericks should do it. Here come some more missiles, though. Pop some countermeasures. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, the trick is with these to get these early kills, because after a while just having four missile units just constantly firing at you just And here comes some more. And it genuinely is just one wrong turn. Take your eye off the ball for a second and Yeah, you're toast. There we go, lovely stuff. Let's drag this over to our last little unit. And for a bit of variation, let's go for some Hellfires. Are you actually going to fire for me? Aircraft bugging out a little bit. I'm a little close. I hope it doesn't launch right about now, but... That should be the end of it. And I think that is all the craft destroyed. I mean, there's only this last one. Yeah, you're gone. 
So what have we learned today? Well, first of all, if you don't have too many anti-aircraft units and you play it right, you can overcome them with relative ease. Uh, secondly, the best anti-aircraft defences are probably a mixture of uh, goalkeeper cannons and AMRAM equipped units, that is, with the possible exception of if you can get your sodding Pack 3 intercept missiles to actually launch. Um, but uh, that will be it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it, everybody. Uh, there will be some news coming very soon about the second season of Fighter Subscriber, but um, for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.